okay hey guys so i wanted to do like a little chilled like vlog type feel video um letting you guys in of what on what i've been up to for the past like week or two because i feel like we need to do a little bit more connecting and this would be the best way to do it so i've got like little clips of me doing random stuff and it doesn't really make sense because i'm not the best at vlogging so i'm just going to explain everything through with you guys as you're watching oh my earrings about to come off i'm going to explain everything through with you guys as, as you're watching in case you're wondering this is like a really weird like setup <laughs> i've literally just put my camera like on my chair and i'm on my floor right now because i can't be asked to set up the whole shebang like don't nobody got time for it let me actually grab my laptop so i can like watch the footage and then narrate as i'm going along so you guys really responded well to when i did the cook with me video and that video was literally just like it wasn't like a joke but i just did it for fun um and you guys really loved that video so i tried to film another one i tried to do a cook with me but i think i was cooking what was i cooking i think i was supposed to be cooking like corned beef stew and like boiled plantain or something but I literally just ended up dancing and then forgetting about the vlog. I was just so hungry. You know when you just want to eat? Like, you know when you just want to cook quick and want to eat? I didn't have time to really explain what I was doing. I'm just being silly and dancing as I try to cook. <laughs> So that was definitely like a failed attempt for the cook with me. I will try and do another one. Um, let me know what you guys want me to cook. <laughs> Most of the time I cook Nigerian food. So let me know what you guys want me to cook. Um, some people did suggest on my Instagram stories that I should cook fried rice because you guys saw me do fried rice on Instagram, on Instagram stories. So yeah. <laughs> So yeah, so that's what I got up to that day. I think this was the day after, I'm not sure, but basically I had a bridal booking and I did, the person whose makeup I was doing, I did her traditional makeup last year and she had this really amazing idea to, not idea, but she basically she planned her wedding a year exactly the following year so but this time she wanted to have her wedding in greece she invited me down to santorini to take part in her wedding and do her bridal makeup and obviously i said yes and oh my god it was like literally like the best wedding i've ever been to honestly anyway let me go back because i feel like i'm going too far forward but here i'm just in the airport i'm just chilling um i did start off vlogging the experience i, I thought i was going to vlog the whole thing like the whole of greece but basically she she um, wanted her wedding to be quite intimate quite personal it was a very small wedding she didn't want anything to be like on social media so there was a point where i stopped vlogging because i wanted to respect her wishes um but yeah i'm gonna show you the clips of what i did get whilst i was in santorini As soon as we landed in Santorini, I just knew it was about to be lit because even when we were landing and all I can see was literally just sea, like it was just so tranquil and so relaxing and I was just like, this is going to be, this is about to be a good time. Even though I was literally only there for work and I was literally only there for two days, I wanted to take everything in and just enjoy the moment and it really was nothing short of amazing. Like ugh, when I tell you guys that place is beautiful. Full. even like where i was staying like the villa where I, where I was at it wasn't like amazing or anything like it wasn't like a five star villa or anything like that but just the views the buildings like the air like the air just felt like 
it was just so breezy and so nice so um as soon as i arrived um the guy from the villa came to pick me up and he was so lovely like he he's obviously been doing this for years and he's picked up english but obviously his english wasn't all the way there but he was literally giving me like a tour guide as we were going which was really amazing so i just touched down in santorini and the first greek guy i saw let's just say greek guys are kind of sexy I realized we're not in the UK. Yeah, I forgot we're not in the UK. <laughs> Should I get in here? Thank you. I like his vibe already. He seems nice. How are you? Everything okay? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Fine for the moment. Good. <laughs> do you mind if I film? Do you mind if I put the camera on? Sorry? Is that okay if I do that? <laughs> <laughs> you have been to Sadorini before? No, this is my first time. First time. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever been to the UK? No, no, for the moment I don't have vacation in my life. Oh, <laughs> no free time. Work, work, and work. Yeah. Hey, Carlos, hear that? Carlos Brady, Carlos Bernate. Is this a family? Oh, okay, okay. Welcome and have a nice time here. Oh, thank you so much. And then that night I turned off the camera. I was really tired and the following day would have been the wedding. So, um, yeah, it was just really... Do you know what? I don't want to even want to sound like let me get out of here. I was saying it. But honestly, the sleep that I had, like I slept so well that night. Like I slept like a baby, like a child. Like it's a, it's a warm country. Like the, the sun is definitely there, but it's not like uncomfortable like the uk i don't know it's like I, the uk sun like when it's hot in the uk it's like sticky like you need a fan it's just uncomfortable but in greece it was just so breezy so relaxing and just i just literally slept like a baby so that was amazing so literally the next day right when i woke up i was really kerfuffled i was really confused i don't know why but when i went outside my villa like i literally opened the door and obviously when i came it was dark when i came to santorini it was dark so like when i opened the door the light <laughs> the sun that hit my eyes i swear to you guys i was literally just like when i opened the door it was just like a ray it was literally no pun intended like a ray of sunshine and i went on top of the terrace and i was just like wow i was literally just there like by myself I was just literally just like wow this place is just so this is amazing this is it <laughs> and i was just taking it in like wow people actually live here like this is their everyday life like, this is normal to them <laughs> i don't know if you can see me but it's the next day and it's the day of the wedding i'm literally just gonna do a little bit of sightseeing I'm gonna walk around just to see the wedding starts a little bit later on in the day so i'm literally just gonna take this time just to take in sanzarini and take a few pictures and stuff and um yeah how beautiful is this though i'll show you like my view this isn't even like the nice 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 area and it's still like so beautiful gorgeous stunning and literally the skies are like clear blue so oh i decided to do a matte lip today because i really did i knew it was going to be a little bit windy because where I am it's like next to the beach so it's a little bit windy and I really didn't want like hair sticking on my lips because that's tray annoying but yeah let's see if we can get a few selfies oh shout out the weather is like really surprisingly like nice like it's not hot and it's not like cool either it's like it's like a really nice weather I can't describe it it's really windy so it's not like uncomfortable hot <clears throat> I really don't know where I'm going but basically at the airport I had to throw away my um, my deodorant and my body cream the lady at my villa nicely like lent me some um, SPF to cream my body with but um, I was like oh do you have deodorant and she was just like she was literally just like babe the shop is like down there um, so I'm gonna see if I can get some stuff at the shops oh, really? oh, okay they do have deodorant oh this is a whole very much expensive four euros for deodorant like fiver that's quite expensive for deodorant what, what way is it to the beach this way. this way okay thank you 
in that case let's just do a little stroll to the beach hopefully i don't get lost um i need this battery to last to be honest so i'm gonna i'm gonna come back to you guys if i find the beach when i get to the beach okay guys i think i managed to find the beach and wow it's like so pretty Okay, now I've seen it. <laughs> I don't really want to go close to the water because obviously I don't have like a swimming costume. But, um, wow, so nice. Oh, hey, <laughs> got a little friend over there. I need to find someone to help me take pictures because I really want to take pictures like with the buildings and stuff. Um, even though I've already worn this outfit on Instagram, but oh well. <laughs> Instagram is not real life. Let's see if I can remember how to go back to my villa. If not, boy, I'm gonna be sleeping outside. Hi. <laughs> People are so nice here. And I'm not gonna lie, the Greek men are like, <laughs> they are spicy. You know what is also like really amazing? Please excuse my hair. Like, there's literally like little buildings on like the mountains and the cliffs. I'm gonna zoom in like proper zoom in so you guys can see but people literally like build their like I don't know if it's houses or what they are like on top of the cliffs like, I'll show you so if you guys can see like right there there's like there's like a house or something up there I don't know if you guys can see that like that's insane and then there's another one over there and it's so tiny like because obviously the cliff is humongous but it's like when you get up there I'm sure it's like pretty big that's like so cool to me like, imagine just living like right on top of a mountain like, like no neighbors girl the wedding was gonna be in the afternoon and I just wanted to take some time out just to walk around um, the area just have a look at you know beaches shops um just taking just taking the scenery so i woke up pretty early and i did my makeup and i basically just decided just to give just have a little walk um and just take a few pictures and stuff like that you know i'm still a blogger whatever so i had to take you know vlogger pictures so that's what i did then so i've just been on the terrace trying to take a few selfies and look at me please like bro bro Lord Father, what is that? What is that? I need to redo everything. Like, who begs me? <laughs> who actually begs me? Wow, my hair is all like sweated up. At this point, it just needs a wash. Like, no straighten, I can fix this. It just, it just needs a wash. So, yeah, RIP to my wig. And this foundation definitely does not match me. So. I need to go back to my Mac because the Nas ain't it. I like it, but the colour, I just can't find my colour, so it ain't it. Oh, if you guys are wondering, if you guys are wondering what lipstick I'm wearing, I'm wearing the Retro Mac Lip Colour in Dance With Me by Mac. I know you guys hate Mac or when I use Mac stuff, but girl, I worked there for too many years, so I have loads of stuff from them. So yeah. Oh, guys, I forgot to mention, right? when i when i touched down and when i was at the passport control thing right and the guy that was serving me sister honey honey he was a, a snack yeah he was a snack he was like the whole freaking on i was literally just looking at him like i was like in awe when i tell you greek men i need to <clears throat> Greek men. Whew. Wow. So after I walked around and after I took a few pictures and stuff, it was time for the wedding. And
and um like i said i wanted to respect my bride's wishes she didn't want me to vlog she didn't she wanted to keep it quite intimate and quite private which is obviously understandable it's a big day you know it's very special you don't really want too many people in your business so i didn't vlog you know the ceremony and anything past that but i did vlog the scenery of her um hotel and let me tell you girl girl i am coming back to santorini i'm going to that hotel because the view the views insane out of this world just beautiful like i was oh my gosh it was just stunning in a bad you cannot be in a bad mood in that place you can't yeah so i did my bride's makeup and she looks so stunning i didn't really take a lot of pictures of her actual face like in her face off the makeup which i should have um you know every, you know with weddings and things everything's quite like bustle bustle everyone's busy trying to get things done trying to be on time so i didn't really have a lot of time to sit her down and take pictures of her actual makeup but i did take pictures while the photographer was taking pictures of her and she looked oh my god when she put her dress on i was just like wow like she looked amazing like if i don't honestly she inspired me to have a destination wedding when you know when the mister finally appears from god knows when i do have a spouse i do want to i do feel like i want a destination wedding um because that was oh i uh, that wedding was just impeccable if i don't get married in you know greece or somewhere like that at least there has to be a vacation girl at least the day after literally the day after the wedding i was flying back to miserable london and i was so gutted i really wanted to stay but obviously i was only there for work but um it was so 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 nice and you're probably thinking like girl it's really not that deep but i haven't been anywhere in a very very long time i haven't even been anywhere um i haven't really been a lot of, to a lot of places and for that to be like one of the first places that i went to it was it was it was really good it was really nice for me and um i don't know it was quite it was it, I don't know I'm, I'm really bad with like getting emotional and mushy or whatever but it was it was like it was good for me if that makes sense I don't know if I'm really even making sense so after that a few days later I was literally just being very lazy getting takeaway didn't unpack because <laughs> I was just so like in my feelings I wanted to go back um but I'm saying didn't take away as if I'm not waiting for my takeaway now I'm waiting for another takeaway because this girl it's just been really bad this week. I've just been getting takeaway back to back. Anyway, so um, then we I went to a benefit event. So I went to a benefit event and Shade invited me, Shady Bangs, as you guys know her, Life Sides Brat Star. So she invited me to come to a benefit event with her, which is really nice of her. And that benefit was, um, the benefit event was in Carnaby. Yeah, it was in Carnaby, so like near also Surface. And we went to this place called, I think it's called something betty i can't remember but shade will explain right now for you guys so apparently i'm robert's mouthpiece today we are at the benefit gimme brown we're here at spotty betty we're having we're having breakfast this is brunch we're having brunch at spotty betty and we actually saw the ceo oh yeah we did yeah we got money nice spot i feel like i want to go there again they had the food was good i had avocado and um poached eggs and obviously you had to put some tabas tabasco on there because you know it wasn't as thing as a young kid but um the food was really good and then after we did that um so that was literally just like a bit of brunch then we went to the actual benefit store in carnaby and we were supposed to get our brows done <laughs> but none of us really wanted to take our brows off so we just sat there drinking champagne it wasn't champagne what was it i think it was just juice and just eating sweets and just chatting about you know youtube life blogger life social media life ups and downs what we've been up to 
we're just catching up with one another Uche was there as well Nelly was there you guys know her as Vinti Nelly so yeah we just caught up and we just had a little chin wag So this bit right we were literally walking out walking out and so annoying most of the time i've got my finger on the mic and i don't actually know where the mic is so i need to stop putting my finger on the mic so sorry guys if the audio is really bad but we went to Too Faced as well um because we wanted to have a look at the jackie Ina collection so we quickly went to Too Faced just to swatch some colors and stuff like that and when we we're coming out of Too Faced some guy like stopped Sade and he was like oh we're filming for like a commercial or something like that I can't remember what he said and then he was like do you want to take part and Sade was just like yeah and she even blended in, blended in with the background so um they took a few shots of her I don't know what it was for I don't know where the footage went but she was okay with it so we were like okay girl so Sade's been stopped to do a bit of lifestyle filming she blends in with the Too Faced sign <laughs> oh is that it? oh no take two right. then we were walking out then we were walking out of Too Faced and this like guy this boy I think he looked about like 18, 19 he came up to me and it was like excuse me are you famous? and I was just like no <laughs> and then he was with his dad and um he was like, oh, I think I know your face from somewhere. I was like, girl, no, you don't. <laughs> but he was really cute, though. I followed him on Instagram. Um, and it was really nice to see, like, his dad support him because he was Asian. And a lot of, like, you know, um, a lot of Asian communities or, like, you know, ethnic communities don't really support, you know, boys that wear makeup or boys that may be gay or homosexual or bisexual and things like that. So it was really nice to see his dad support him and stuff like that. So, yeah. Me? Really? I'm not famous. 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 I'm not but um, I've been really good. I've literally just been doing me, focusing on myself. The end of last year, I said to myself that I was gonna be um, very selfish um, for my own personal, I have my own personal reasons to like why. I just knew that this year was going to be mine. And it sounds so like cliche and so like, oh, whatever girl, but I knew this year was going to be what I made it. And I wanted to take full control of the year the only way i could do that was to start making decisions that um are good for me decisions that are good for my mental health decisions that are good for my self-growth self-development i felt like last year i was in a very well, not even last year <laughs> for the past like 26 years of my <laughs> i've just been you know the environment i've been in is not the best um it's very important to surround yourself around people who care about you and your well-being and people who care about your development people who care about people who want to see you do good people who want to see you succeed people who wish well on you um people who you don't have to beg to love you know you don't have to i feel like no one should have to beg to feel loved and um i felt like i've always been quite a selfless person if I don't know anyone from somewhere and, you know, there was the last pizza on earth, I would give the pizza to that person just to please them. And I'm very, I'm very much someone who likes pleasing other people. And as much as that's great, it's also, um, it's also not so great. Being overly selfless is a form of self-harm. And I was just tired of harming myself in that way. I was tired of, um being bad to myself like being good to everybody else but being bad to myself so i decided to you know take take this year by the bullhorns or whatever the saying is and just do me girl and i've been doing me and it's been amazing like this is like the best year i've ever had and that's because i made a decision to make this year about me i think that's honestly the best decision that i've ever 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 made for myself and you know that started with me at the end of last year moving out um, finding myself and 
every day I'm finding myself, every day I'm learning, you know, new things about myself. Yeah, I'm just really looking forward to finding more out about myself and growing into the woman that, um, that I aspire to be. So, yeah. Oh, I think my takeaway is here. Give me one second, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Hold on, let me do it ASMR. Mmm. 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 -mm. Anyway, I hope that was fun for you guys to watch. I was planning to actually go food shopping today, but of course I'm being lazy and I got a takeaway instead. But I want to do a come shop with me. Hmm. Let me know if you guys want that. And I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go finish this takeaway and have a night in. And I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Thanks guys. Bye. <laughs>